So, going to replace this side rocker in the floor cab support. Started with removing the door, got this braced in there so it doesn't spread or anything. Take my measurements and start to take this thing off. Just drill out all the spot welds there. Didn't really think I needed to right here because it's you know, rotted right out. And then just a uh, big hammer and a chisel. So after working each side, start getting it separated. So it's kind of loose in there. And for down here, it's spot welded all along here. With all the little rust dimples and such. Can't really tell which is a spot weld and what's just, you know, wear and tear. So conveniently, I got this little hole here that I can see where the inner rocker is. So I'm gonna cut along that line all the way down there. So cut her down the middle, peeled her back. So the old vice grips. Look at that treasure chest. Old dirt and rust and who knows what. Hopefully a loony. Use some money right now. There's three things you're gonna want when you're working on one of these old shit boxes. A tetanus shot, a shitload of ice grips, and good tunes. Can't do anything without good tunes. And beer, I suppose, so that's four. But check check out that big pile of shit that came out of there. Pretty sure a mouse was living in there. Forgot to mention, take your fender off. This will be a lot easier. You can get right in there. And you can see, fire that thing on there. This is all rotted out here. All in there. This is the uh, previous owner's handiwork there. And uh, previous owner's booger welds. But uh, there's also some cool little stuck in there. We're gonna fix all this. We got these lower thingies. Uh, we got inner rockers. One thing I don't see a lot of is videos on panel trucks because this is this is a panel truck. So the floor here is different than the replacement that you buy. Oh boy! The replacement you buy is the same as the driver's side. It's got this kick up here. But on this guy, it's actually kicked down like a step. So uh, I'll do another video on how I'm gonna flatten this guy out and invert it a little. For those of you who have panel trucks and wanna just buy this thing, give her right there. Also on the panel trucks, you gotta lop off like the whole back eight inches or whatever six inches is whatever that is yeah the front's good though so on this piece this here these holes here that's where those uh see those bolts there those two holes there that's these guys so we'll get that going in a later video i just uh split this up with a chisel a bit so you can see where all the spot welds are, that's, you know, that bottom seam or whatever. So right here is one of the drains. There's another one there. You can see they, how often they spot weld. If you want to drill them out, I'm just going to cut that because there's no real way to do it properly. So we're going to do it that way. All right, now that that's off of there, I'm going to take hold this up take some measurements uh, from those bolts to the floor those bolts to the floor so I don't screw anything up when I put this all back together so that is what was underneath that that's the body mount right there 
or the cab mount. Barely even held on. Oh. Not even held on. Nice. Super easy peasy. Go around, line it all up. I usually tack it here and there first, in the corners. And then, hammer that. So you can all line up. I'm gonna use this guy in the corners like that and like that. They get those tight. And uh, I'm doing this one first. So when I put in the tab support and the kick panel, I know exactly where those go. Super simple. Put her in there upside down. And you can see it's opposite because that step. So, gonna do that.